Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be me packaging up my clearance slash sale that I had, uh, all the products that people purchased. I have so many different items. If you haven't already, go check out my prepping for the clearance sale and making the products for the clearance sale. Those videos will already be up. So yeah, I've got over 250 items to package up today and get shipped off to the new owners. <laughs> So yeah, I've got plenty of XL scrunchies. I've got, yeah, literally so many XLs. I've got so many of like the normal size scrunchies. Um, I've got a couple of bows, DIY packs, uh, and then a heap of hair claws because I just got eight more hair claws in. And I also sold a bit of merch as well. So I sold the ones with my logo on there, with my logo on there, and I also sold like entre entrepreneur ones. So I've got a couple of those in amongst all that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to get straight into it today. You will notice that my table has been stained. The culprit is sitting right here. So, <laughs> yeah, I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. I probably will try to wash it, but uh, I just haven't had the time. And I'm hoping the camera won't pick it up as much, uh, how pink the table is, but it is very pink. It is very, very pink. It looks horrible. And I'm really going to have to fix it like in the next week or two because I just can't stand it. So as always, I have finished off all of my little packaging slips. It's just how I do things. I like to have um, the packaging slips all printed out. I print out four to a page just on my normal printer. I could print them out in the one bin, uh, but I just haven't yet. Because it usually, I think the times I've tried, I have to like save it a different way because... If I just print it straight from the website, it comes out like not crisp. Whereas like all my other stuff comes out crisp because it's saved properly. Anyway, yeah, so it's just a bit of a mess around. But this way it's fine. As usual, I wrote a little thank you note. I've blanked out the address and I've also highlighted what sort of shipping method they you they chose. So I have five or six shipping methods available on my website. Depends what the customer orders. Uh, if they order something small like a bow or one of the smaller scrunchies it can go in an envelope or a tracked envelope but if they order something like an XL or yeah some of the biggest stuff like a hair claw it has to go in a parcel and obviously international has to go in a parcel as well so yeah I've got heaps of different options uh, and I have express as well on top of all that <laughs> so yeah, there's heaps of different options that's how um, I determine what uh, parcel or envelope, whatever, whatever shipping method, that's how I determine because customers actually pre-select that at checkout. Sometimes I do upgrade shipping uh, like from an envelope to a parcel if they've ordered a heap of stuff or if I think uh, I might just, you know, add tracking onto it because like it's a high value order. Okay, first things first, I'll get my trusty lids, <laughs> pop everything on the lid, I just go through and grab everything and put the invoice with it. I'm probably going to do the express ones and the domestic parcels first, followed by international tracked envelopes and envelope. I do have a couple of the orders that can't go out right at this very second because I'm either missing stuff, so like the face mask ones aren't going out, and there's also something wrong with one of the orders, and I haven't received a message back yet, so I'm going to hold that one for another couple days. Oh yeah, and this is all of the bits and pieces that everyone ordered. So I've just been making those this last um, couple days. And yeah, and then I've got the these ones down here. Also, I usually have all my stuff in these. Um, and like, propped up so I can see everything. But, <laughs> I've like used so many of these, this size, for all my new hair clothes. Like I've... Um, I've like stacked them all in like this sort of size box. So I don't really have many that I can like sort of steal back. I'm going to swap this box around though with another box and try and see what I can do.
Okay, so I've just finished putting them how I usually like to keep them, which is, yeah, just so I can see everything. So when I'm picking stuff, it's so much easier for me. All of the bits and pieces, as you can see, there's so many. Um, yeah, this is probably about 250 items here. There may be more, honestly, because there's a few orders I chucked in here which weren't meant to go out today. Alright, now we're going to sort them out and put them on these. <laughs>
I'm missing one and I swear I made it. I'm gonna have to go have a look for it. Cause I made, I made this scrunchie cause I remember cutting the fabric. I'm almost finished though. So all my stickers, um, so I've got my YouTube feature, my scrunchie stand sticker, my stickers that I put on my boxes, and also the stickers I put on all the tissue papers, they're all made with my Munbin thermal printer. So highly recommend um, a thermal printer, uh, whether that be Munbin or another one. I don't know if all of them do stickers, but yeah, they're pretty cool. And then my thank you cards. I rotate between some white ones and pink ones. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too pink. Uh, it's very, very, very pink in real life, this table. It's horrible. I really, really not vibing. I don't know if all this is gonna fit. I might go up in size.
actually, I might actually be able to fit these in here. It'll be close.
going to go look for a box for this one because there's two jumpers plus all of this. So yeah, there's quite a lot and I want to make sure it's going to arrive nice and protected. Okay, so I've looked for a box. I found this one and I found this one, but this one's going too small. So I'm going to try this one and see if I can fit everything in. I should fit everything in. I just don't know how to package everything out. I think I might package everything separately and then put it all in the box. This is going to cost me so much to ship, I can already tell. <laughs> it's so heavy. So obviously I did use um, like a box that I had received in the mail myself. So I've just put washi tape over the other, like it was Vista print. So I just put that over it. I mean, it's pretty. It's better than the Vista print. Okay, now I'm up to... Untracked and tracked envelopes. I used to print out all of my like shipping addresses I don't anymore because as you can see I've got like less than nine envelope ones and most of them are parcels so I don't need to anymore I used to though yeah when I was doing a lot of more envelope stuff but it's just so much easier for me to do parcels now because my stuff's like gotten bigger over the years as well because I've added more fabrics and so it's just easier to not package them in the envelopes when I'm when there's like a couple that have been purchased.
anyone else's ouch ah like airpods hurt like i hate wearing airpods because they end up hurting my ears so much and it doesn't even take that long oh my gosh oh this is so much better Alright, so pretty much done now. I've got a couple more orders that I haven't done. <laughs> Either because I actually haven't, I haven't missed any. I think I only missed one. Yeah, I'm pretty much done with everything else. Okay, so that's, that's everything done I can do right now. There is a couple left in here. There's not a lot. Um, some of them I just need to still make a scrunchie or the face masks ones. Some of them are brand new ones. That sort of thing. So yeah, they can be done at a later date. Probably I'll probably do them tonight after I like send all these off. Right now I need to put labels on everything though. So I'm going to grab my laptop and start weighing and doing all that stuff. And I'm going to sit down because I haven't sat down all day and my back's hurting. <laughs> Alright, so that's all of the orders. So I have to label pretty much all of them now. Oh my god. So yeah, I was right. It usually costs me about, I don't know, $16 to send to US. But that's under 250 grams. And that goes up every 250 grams. This is over two kilos this is just 30 mil like 30 things over the two kilos and it's so big so <laughs> it's um how much is it gonna be like al almost 54 dollars and that's down from 70 because of my discount <laughs> damn this is definitely the most expensive one i've sent in a long time all of these other parcels I just put through with like $250 combined. And that one's like, I don't know, a fifth just by itself. It's crazy. Okay, I'm running late for the post office, so I'm going to go pop these in now. Okay, so it's been like two hours. Um, I went to get, well, I went to go post everything. And then I got a towel from Kmart because... I ran out of my grey toweling, which, I mean, I use the Kmart towels anyway because it works out cheaper, I think. Um, so yeah, I had to go get that for an order. Oh, that's weird. Also, I'm very sorry to Emma. I think she is, is she US? US. You know who you are. <laughs> um, for not doing your order on, on the camera. And wing... Wingy, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Wing, wingy, wingy, I think. Yeah, so there are two people that are continue like um, repeat customers, but I don't think I'll do your orders on camera just because, um, yeah, I'm gonna do them tonight. It's not gonna be any good, the camera lighting and everything. But they're the only ones, plus the. Plus I need to do some face masks and then, then I'll be done for the, you know, week. Then I'll be straight into market prep because I got a festival on the weekend. Two of them actually. Um, I have the Sunday ones I've always done really well at so I'm expecting um, to do well there. But Saturday I have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Apparently there's meant to be 16,000 people coming through, but in saying that, uh, it's also meant to be raining, so people probably only will come just for the music and won't want to leave that, like, area. Uh, I don't know, and plus it depends if I'm near the food or not. If 
if any of the food people might see my stuff and like just walk over but if I'm like in the corner I might not have very good luck with people just sort of like going oh what's that and going over there I don't know so yeah I have no idea what to expect um I don't know whether to like make bulk or you know just chill out but yeah that's that's my plans for tonight um I went for a walk with Flo and cooked enough. But now I'm going to finish off the rest of these orders and start on my YouTube video because I'm doing two this two this week because I've got a sponsor video that's like mostly just sponsor. So yeah, I will is just a sponsor video. So I don't want to just leave you guys with one video this week or well, one sponsor video. So I need to start editing my Queensland vlog and then next week I will try and post my Tasmania vlog, finally, hopefully. I can't wait to edit it. I'm really, really keen to edit it, but I want to like enjoy editing it. I want to like relive the moments <laughs> and make it like a really good vlog. So yeah, I um, haven't done that yet. Also, I got these back in because I went for a walk and ow, my ears. Oh. Definitely, these are so much better. Oh, I, just, I like it on. It just feels nicer. Anyway, stop rambling. I need to get on with work. So, yeah. Um, thank you, everyone who placed an order with me and supported my business. And anyone that, like, shared or liked any of my posts and everything. Even if you're watching this video, thank you very much. You're still supporting me. Um, so, yeah. It's really awesome. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, and sorry if I didn't film packaging your one. I'm going to do it off camera now though. <laughs> hope you guys enjoy this one. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!